What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a high taper and a lineup on a client that just got some fresh braids done. So we're starting off with our slimline, putting in our initial guideline, our skin line, and we're trying to keep this pretty high up so there's no real C cup left here. And then after this, we're just going to go with our foil shaver. And with the foil shaver, we're trying not to go all the way up to the guideline. You want to leave some space off of the skin line. So now after the foil shaver, we're going to open up the blade and we're going into our first guide with the blade open. Typically, once I'm fading a guideline out, I usually start closed and work my way up. Like this, we don't really go too, too crazy and it makes sure the blend is perfect. If you have to push it up a tiny bit, it's not a big deal. So we put our initial guide in open blade, close it up and then slowly open up our way until it's fully blended. And then we can move on to our next step which is the trimmer to try and get rid of any little skin line that's left. As you can see here, I'm using the saber, which is a little bit closer, and it's just gonna make sure to get rid of any little imperfections underneath. I don't wanna move on to anything until the previous step is gone. And if that means use the foil shaver, then that's what we gotta do. And then after that, we're gonna go into our next guide, which is the one guard. And we're gonna do the one guard all the way open. And as you can see, we are going pretty high, but that's the whole point with a high taper. We wanna make sure this blend is up there and pretty stretched out. So we're doing another about a finger sized guide of right above that open blade guideline. And then after this, we're gonna start doing that fade process. Just like I spoke about before, we're gonna do the closed half guard and slowly open our way up until it is all completely blended. So we can't be scared to go back. And I was using the half guard and I saw there was still a bit of a line left there so took the half guard off and we are going to be going full open blade with no guard on and we're just going to try and fade our way down and until that line comes out like i said we don't want to move on to any extra steps anything after this one section so far because we want to make sure everything's perfect before we move on and then once we know it's perfect which what we're doing right now is we are going to move on to the number two and the number two is going to be pretty much the last guide I make on any fade, whether that's a high taper, whether it's a mid fade, low fade. Number two is usually the last guard we use. Set in a guideline, and then after that, we're gonna use the one, and we are gonna open it all the way up and fade it in. After that's complete, you go into thinning shear mode, and thinning shears are gonna be your number one best friend into blending into that top length that we have. Like I said, we, we stop at a number two, so everything after number two is fully thinning shears. Now, after we finish the thinning shears, we are on to the number two again. And now this is just to clear off any of the bulk that's remaining underneath the braid section. And after this, I'm going to line up on the back and the sides of the neck there. It's just gonna keep my section nice and clean so that when I fade the back out, I don't have to worry about lining it up afterwards. We're still gonna get back to it, but this is more of a personal preference thing. If you wanna line up before you do the taper in the back, you can. If you want them to line up after, then that's totally fine as well. In the back, our process is gonna be the exact same as the side pretty much. We're just gonna start with our slim lines. We're putting in our initial skin line here and notice it's definitely a little bit curved down. The reason we curve down the sides is because we want it to stay dark on the lineup. If it was straight across, it would be a little bit light on the edges and you won't get as sharp of a lineup. So we make sure to curve that up a little bit. After the initial skin lines done, we're gonna go into our clipper with the open blade, put in about a finger size section one thing you will notice is that our guidelines are a little bit bigger on the back. The back of the head has much more dense hair and it's a bigger surface area than the sideburn to be fading on. So you wanna give yourself more room. And then just like I mentioned before, you're gonna start closing it up or start close and open it up. Just pretty much get this section faded out before you move on to the next one. And now on this next one is the one open just like we did on the sides, keeping about the same size section as we did for the open blade. 
And then, like I said before, uh, it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. You're going to blend it out with the half guard. You could start fading down and to up or start fading open to close, whatever you prefer, whatever is easier for you. But just make sure that as you're fading, you make sure everything is perfect before you move on to your next step. If you have to push it up a little bit, that's totally fine. It's completely normal. And that's why we make sure our sections are the proper size so it gives us the room we need to fade everything out. So now we're going to start with the two and this is pretty much just to clear off the bulk like I said. Um, we want to make sure the highest guard we use is the number two here. Uh, this is going to create a pretty substantial guideline underneath so we're going to have to pretty much go back a bit into our half guard and into our one just to make sure it's completely blended. But I make sure to work my way down and not not bite off more than I can chew. Keep going slowly. We'll figure out the top eventually. But here I'm just going in with the one and we're going to slowly close our way up until that line underneath is completely gone. So in this section, we're getting pretty close to finishing up the blend in the back. It definitely took us a bit longer than expected. Here I'm just using the one and a half guard just trying to clean up any little dark spots. And after this, you can also use the thinning shears. Like I said before, they are our best friend here. We wanna make sure that we get rid of any dark spots, any lines, and the thinning shears are gonna be your number one best friend to do that. For the front lineup, we're gonna start with the number two. And pretty much this is the exact same thing that I was talking about. Our highest guard we're gonna be using on this entire haircut is the number two. So I'm taking the hairline down to the number two making sure not to get the teeth stuck in the braids, but make sure you get everything on the front and go different directions just to make sure you get every hair. Comb everything down into its place, and then typically I will hairspray it, and then we can start the actual lineup with the trimmers. Once we have everything down to a two, we're gonna start directly in the middle with the trimmers and work our way to the sides. Typically, I like to work my way towards a lighter side and then match the dark side to that lighter side. As you can see, sometimes there is inconsistencies in the thickness of the hair. Certain spots look darker, certain spots are gonna get sharper. That's totally normal. The best way to do it is to just make sure that your lineup is even and it'll eventually look like one consistent straight line. Don't worry about pushing anything back. Just make sure it's nice and sharp and in a natural spot. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Here's going to be the final result. I did add some enhancements, but you got to do what you got to do to make it look perfect.